Hey guys, Ben Simpson here at Simpson Vlogs. I will hear your faces to another unboxing here on the channel. Now last week, hopefully you saw the epic unboxing of the PlayStation 5. And this week, you're going to be seeing the upgrade that goes along with that upgrade. The finally the upgrade to my recording setup. So sit back, grab a snack, grab a drink, kick your feet up, most importantly, have fun, like, comment, subscribe below, hit that bell notification to keep today everything here on the channel. Of course, share the links down in the description, of course, that includes my TikTok, my Instagram, and my Twitter, alongside Simpsons Players, which is upgraded mainly for, of course, and of course, SimpsonPlayers.com, my website, where you can catch all things from me. Of course, don't forget about my Twitch, I'm going to start streaming over there because of what I've bought, and of course, well, stay tuned with that by dropping a follow over there, and of course, subscribing over at Simpsons plays underscore 13. Right then, should we talk about why we're doing this upgrade? Well, I have it 200,000 subscribers over on Simpsons Plays, as some of you already know. If you haven't, check it out, like I said down below. But yeah, and well, let's just say this microphone ain't going to cut it anymore. Now, this microphone we've had for a very, very long time. This microphone is the mic that we did when we went from, you know, that big clunky headset I used to wear with the with the thing down, it's with that big house headset, uh, like some been 2013 kid. And that's how I started my YouTube. And then obviously, you know, as you do, you move over to an actual microphone, get yourself a mic and, you know, have yourself. I've been through quite a few headsets as I untangle some wires, but this is a, I don't know what Sony headset this is, but this is a Sony headset. <laughs> uh, we're working on seeing what options we can get for a new headset as well. But right now we're gonna stick with this. Um, we're mainly upgrading the recording actual things needed for recording, the headset. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this mic, this mic's been good to us. It's mic's being good to us. It is, of course, the famed Blue Yeti. It is the perfect starter microphone for anyone starting podcasting or you know, streaming or, you know, gameplay YouTube in general. You're just doing VODs like I started out doing before I went to streaming. It is a great mic. It's a USB mic, so you can plug it into your laptop. You can plug it into your computer, you can plug it straight into your PlayStation or Xbox directly, and you're good to go. Especially with the fact that, especially with the PlayStation, you can stream directly to YouTube or Twitch from the platform. And that's what I've been doing recently. You know, we started off the year, you know, streaming to Twitch directly. Plug in, plug and play. It's beautiful, it's simple. It's, is it elegant? Yeah, it's simple. <laughs> and, you know, we've got good results from that. We've got huge subscriber following over on YouTube. Especially when I made the switch during the Final Fantasy fiasco with Twitch. Um, if you haven't heard about that, well, it's a whole thing. It's the reason I went to YouTube uh, streaming and it was a whole thing, but never mind that. Went over to YouTube streaming. Again, plug and play. It's easy, it's simple. However, there are some downsides to simplicity, aren't there? You don't have as much control over things like your audio, your. Um, what is it? Your flipping camera setup. So you know you can't phase your camera in and out when you want to do a cutscene. You can't phase your audio out as easily when you want to do a cutscene. There are just things in the way that make plug and play for you know streaming directly from the console a bit difficult. So that's why we're gonna do away with our famed blue yeti mic. We're not throwing it away, we're just you know putting it putting it to the side, retiring it for now. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we have this. <laughs> In this huge box here, we have the Steel Series Alias Pro XLR Mic and Stream Mixer. And we're hoping, we are hoping this boy has made video sound crisp. Because when this video is coming out for you guys over on Simpsons Vlogs, I've already hopefully been using this on Simpsons Plays and streaming in a new way. Now, this should enable me. Alongside, of course, this bad boy, the Elgato 4XK, 4XK, 4KX, sorry, <laughs> stream capture card. All right, so these two together should enable me to stream and record separately, but at the same time, no longer natively from the PlayStation. Now, that should mean, of course, a massive increase in. Um, you know, video performance and video quality and audio quality when we're doing VODs because the VODs will no longer be ripped from the YouTube stream when it comes down from a download from YouTube or, or Twitch. Um, we might even start streaming back on Twitch. I haven't decided yet. Um, you guys might already know at the time if you follow us over some players. 
But yeah, it should allow you know massive thing because obviously I'll have a separate video with a microphone and, and a camera stream, kind of like what I used to do when I just did VODs on their own when I had you know a separate audio, separate uh, thing. And you'll see those videos; they were not better quality because obviously I'm doing 4K video now, but they were better quality in terms of I was able to remove camera footage, do my own screenshots, find and ripping screenshots from the internet like I've been doing. It was just, it's so much better, you know? And even if, the, you know, something, God forbid, happens with my broadcast at the time when I'm streaming, you know, stream Twitch goes down or the internet goes down or something happens, I don't have to lose everything. I can, you know, assess the situation and go, right, um, I can't get my internet back up and running, but I can finish this episode off camera or off, off live camera anyway, have the episode, Fix the internet if I can or can't. Stop streaming if I want to or need to continue for, you know, video's sake and time-wise. And, you know, everything's hunky-dory for the video side of thing, and it's not impacting my life as much. How many times have you guys had to watch me over on some players redo entire streams, you know, redo entire episodes because something has gone wrong? You know, something terrible has happened with the audio or with the, with the camera, something's happened or the, the quality of the video is just shy. And there's nothing much I can do about it, especially when the quality, quality of the video is rubbish. Most of the time I don't do anything about it. You probably have seen it. I just, I have to let it go. Hopefully these two will make sure that it's no longer a problem. So enough chit chat. Let's open it. So which one are we going to open first? Let's open the capture card. The most important component of this entire thing, because this could still work with the USB um, microphone, I think. <laughs> I think, I think it can still work with the USB microphone. Um, hopefully it can, but anyway, let's open it up. We'll figure it out. I've got a whole setup thing I need to go do myself and we'll figure all that out. All right then, let's open this up. All right, what are I gonna get in here then? The 4X, the 4KX, why do I keep playing it? Four. It's the newest uh, stream capture card from our Gato that's not going inside your PlayStation. True 4K uh, capture. You can even do HDR and VRR. I don't know what VRR is, but I know what HDR is. I never use HDR, but I could start using it. <laughs> um, hopefully it comes with a HDMI cable, but it is designed for the PlayStation 5 and obviously the new Xbox X series. So, let us open it up then. So, what do you get? What do you get? You get this nice little box on the inside. Yep. You open that up, and what do you get? You get uh, some paper in the way, and you get the nice little capture card. Okay, the capture card is not as big as I was hope as I was fearing it's going to be. It's nice and small. Thank God. You get all these instructions inside of it. There's a lot of instruction stuff on our Gato's website as well. I'll put some links to that in the description down below. But here is the capture card. It's small, it's lightweight. We've got a front uh, port for um, microphones going in. Now I am buying a wire and I'll get a wire that I, you can buy a package deal with it. It's called the Elgato, is it Audio Link? Yeah, Audio Link. Now, as you guys know, when I stream on the Xbox, I have a, a wire pass through that goes into the mic, into the, into the controller, into the headphones. A similar thing is needed if you're going to use one of these. Obviously, I'm going to use the one I currently have until I get the other one because it's only coming on Saturday and recording this on Wednesday that I got these. Um, but right now, I can't. The reason I've upgraded that is because it comes with an ability to stop that grounding noise you hear when I'm charging my Xbox pad. I'm assuming the same thing will happen if I'm charging my PlayStation pad. So, yeah. That will fit, that will solve all of that, and I won't have to worry about that. So I can stream comfortably with both pads plugged in without a problem. Now on the back of it, you've got the uh, USB-C link that's going to link all the footage and everything to the computer, the laptop you're using, and of course you've got the two HDMI's. So one needs to go into the console your or laptop or whatever you're streaming from. I can do Nintendo Switch. You can do anything with a HDMI, any console or Thing you want to stream from or capture vid footage from that's got a HDMI, it can do that. And then you want the other one to go into your TV 
So you've got the pass through, so obviously you're seeing things. It kind of works as an intermediary as well as passing footage out through the USB-C connection. So that's cool. Hope you guys understood that. Basically, two HDMI's, it acts kind of like uh, a pass through. You want one into your console, into it, one out of it, into your TV. So you can actually see what you're playing, obviously. And then you want the USB-C to the thing you're recording to your laptop, your computer, whatever. Even an iPad, it showed it with on online. <laughs> Because iPads are powerful enough. I do have an iPad Pro, so I could potentially even do that. <laughs> right, what else are you getting here? So it comes with one HDMI wire because you only need because you only need one. Now, if you think about it, give you a second to think about why it's not come with two. It comes with one because you've already got one. Your console came with a HDMI wire, so why do you need two? Think, Linda, think. <laughs> right then, of course it comes with a USB-C cable because they can't guarantee you're going to get one of those. So that's nice. And there's literally nothing else in here. Oh, some instructions, but you know what we do with instructions. We throw that shit to the side. So yeah, that was the quick opening of that. Actually, I'm going to pick those instructions up and put it back in the box, just in case. <laughs> I can't wait to set all this up. That's looking to be simple and lightweight. Now, I'm assuming it's going to come with some software or something like that when I actually plug it in. Ah, yes. So it says, elgato.com slash download if so to download the capture utility to get started yeah so of course it's going to come with its own software you want to get initialized updated all that good stuff so cool um i'd probably recommend if you've got an older console especially as well uh, you plug the new hdmi wire in um because it's new it's going to be faster uh, less likely to have any problems with it because it's brand new i recommend Small recommendation from me. Hey guys, um, apologies there. Someone was ringing somebody and it was ringing in here for some reason. I'm not even sure why. But yeah, when I was trying to open this earlier, as I was saying, um, can't open it at the top. I saw a little bit at the bottom, as you do. Can't open it from the bottom. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Well, for those of you who this, you open it from the bloody side. <laughs> so you open it from the side and it's odd because it's kind of facing the wrong way, in my opinion. You kind of would expect, as you can see inside the box, you kind of expect the microphone to be facing up. Maybe it is. Maybe this is just like a top um, cover. Um, so let's see. It is a top cover. The microphone is facing up. All right. Let's throw that to the, uh, let's throw it to the side there. All right. Let's get some stuff out of here then. Uh, okay. So it comes with some things. Like I said, it is, it's essentially similar to the Elgato in terms of it is plug and play. And I think you can just use it without an odd, you can obviously use it with a capture card, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that, it's a think. But it comes with a stream mixer, okay? That is this little guy here inside of the plastic cover. I'm gonna get, out of, get it out of in a second. Right, what else is inside this box then? Oh. Okay, you get quite a few things inside the box, actually. So, pulling out the box first is the trusty instruction manual. Second out of the box then. Okay, this is an important wire. This will connect your mic to the, um, the stream mixer. I think you need to do this for this version of it. There's two versions of the, of the Alias mic from SteelSeries. There is the simpler plug and play one with all the buttons and everything on the mic, like the Blue Yeti. Or there's this one that comes with the uh, stream thing, and you definitely need this wire. Don't lose it, don't break it, protect it with your life, because otherwise your mic ain't gonna work. <laughs> uh, I think this is some sort of mount, some sort of desk mount maybe, uh, component. This little component here is like some sort of desk mount. Uh, I don't need that, so I'm gonna put that back in the box. I said put it back in the box, I completely forgot how I got it out of the box, and now, now it doesn't look like it's... It doesn't look like it's sitting right in the box again. Oh, good God, what have I done? No. Oh, I buggered it. I think that's how it went in. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, what else we got? We have... I'm going to assume this is a power cable. This is a power cable. And the reason why I say I assume it's a power cable because it's got no plug on the end of it. But I'm looking down and I can see... Sorry for that noise two plug endings it's got a 
Is that a European? No, yeah, that's a European plugin thing. And this is a UK plugin thing. United Kingdom plugin. Okay, interesting. Cool. So if I was in, like, I don't know, Ireland or something, I guess, uh, it's got the right endings. So I've clipped that on, so this is the one I'm going to be using, obviously. I'm in the UK. This is the power cable. This is the connect this is this bigger, thicker one for some reason is the connection cable. Big difference, literally. <laughs> uh, what else is in here? There's another little box in here actually. So is this little box in here? What's in here? I don't know. I'm gonna open that up as I rest my arm on the come on. I don't want to rip anything, but it's getting me mad. I just want to rip it apart. So it is this cardboard. Ah there we go. It comes with two cables. What? Was it? What? 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 Okay, so we've got two USB C cables. Uh, oh, I know why. I think I know why. I think I remember watching it and it said something about the fact you can connect this microphone to two PCs. Not sure why you'd want to. Um, but I think it can. <laughs> Okay, right, not what, I, not what I was expecting, but okay, I've got it, bears. Now, is there anything else in here? No, okay. That is an awful sound, I do apologize. Right, let's uh, put that box to the side now. Right, the main show. <laughs> let's get the microphone out. It's a lot lighter than the Blue Yeti. Because it's a lot smaller, if you can't tell. I'll put them next to each other for size comparison in a second once I figure out how to actually open the thing. Oh, okay. Oh wow, fancy. It's giving fancy vibes. Like, it better give fancy vibes. As you can see the price down below, damn thing nearly cost 300 pounds. So, yeah. <laughs> it better be giving fancy vibes. Uh, yeah, I got it. Right from Amazon, and it's price reduced from the three hundred and something pound it was listed at on Amazon. Uh, I do believe you can actually get it even cheaper if you go straight to uh, steal things themselves. But I went to Amazon. Okay, so we got power. We got a audio line, which is important. Cause I was wondering about the audio line. I was thinking, shit, where's the audio? There's no aux cable in here, but there's an audio line at the back of this. So we're gonna look at the ports. So we've got power. Got power button, the audio line, very important for me. That's to connect to this, uh, the actual mic itself. And then what's, what, what the heck is that? Oh, no, that's just saying about voltage. So something about voltage there. And then you've got two USB C's uh, connections there. Okay, so it's actually USB C to USB A. Okay, that's actually good. That works for me considering the number of USB C ports I have. And the current camera I'm using, because um, I think I don't think I'll be able to use the PlayStation camera anymore. I'll be switching back to the Logitech camera that I have. So there is that. Cool. And then of course, there's the microphone. So it's got a clamp on the side, so you can you know move this around, lift it on up. But I'm gonna I say tighten that. I've completely loosened that, but I'll, right, tighten that back up. <laughs> I'm gonna most likely use it. As it can, oh god. Have I loosened it or tightened it here? What's going on? What have I done? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna most likely use it like this. Uh, I make the mistake of always using my Blue Yeti microphone like this, you know, pointing it at me. I used to make that mistake a lot. Um, you're actually supposed to have microphones kind of like this. <laughs> pointing it at you doesn't make it any better. Doesn't make the sound quality go up at all. You actually want it stood up like this. So let's get a size comparison of them. Base, up, base by base. Holy shit, it doesn't even fit in the frame. Let me lower it a bit. So just so you know, base by base. There you go. You can see this is a heftier thing, bigger thing. Um, but this is more compact and uh, quite frankly, it looks better. <laughs> I'm feeling that premium vibe. Now again, the reason that this bit is important is because if you look at this, I can mute sound, I can mute um, me, so that's what I've been mainly doing, muting the microphone. But I can mess around with the sound quality, you know, anything like that. 
that is, so we've got gain and I believe that's actual thingy. So this is gonna be cool. I am assuming this also comes with some software of its own to set up. Um, Alias Pro, look through the thing. Yeah, software immediately on the front page. I'm gonna to need to download the T or sonar.ggg.stream for some sort of streaming software, I guess. Oh, did I neglect to mention that this is RGB? I don't know why people always sell that as a selling point, the fact that it damn well lights up. I couldn't care less if it lit up or not. Um, as long as it had some indication of being on, but yeah, it's RGB. It's actually got a fan in it, I think. I think that's a fan grill, isn't it? Yeah, that's a fan grill. That's <laughs> fan grill, you know. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the unboxing. We have the Steel Series Alias Pro Mic and XLR, you know, stream kind of deck thing going on here, and then we have the Elgato Four KX. <laughs> stream capture card to go for the PlayStation and Xbox. Um, so yeah, this is going to be cool. You can see how the first test of that went um, on a stream that I'm going to do, which would have been on Thursday the 24th of October. Um, I think I should have left that stream up on, on YouTube. Uh, we're trying to stream this to YouTube from my laptop from probably OBS, because it's free. Um, but I'll have to figure all that out tomorrow. Or maybe, to, maybe today, we'll see about that. And then you will also hopefully have seen that on Friday, we're gonna be doing a Call of Duty Black Ops 6 stream. Now, I wasn't gonna get Black Ops, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna get Black Ops 6, and I'm gonna use it again as another, another test for this entire setup. Um, I don't actually know what I'm gonna to stream tomorrow on the Thursday, but yeah, you can check the stream out over on Simpson Plays. Either way, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe below, hit that bell notification keep today every here on the Simpson Plays. Ooh, on Simpson Vlogs, I meant, oh good God, I'm getting confused already. Let's try that again. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe below, Hit that bell notification to everything here on Simpson Vlogs. Of course, check the links down below for TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. I love Simpson Vlogs, Simpson Players .com. And of course, oh, fuck no, I've messed it up a third time. Let's get this right. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe below. Hit that bell notification to everything here on Simpson Vlogs. Of course, check the links down below for TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. I love Simpson Players, Simpson Players .com. And of course, my Twitch, Simpson Core Players 13 with all the gameplay from the Xbox Live. So if I follow there, and of course, subscribe. Support me as a streamer over on Twitch. I need to stop saying from the Xbox Live because now that we've got this, this capture card, well, it could be streamed from anywhere. PlayStation or Xbox could be going to Twitch. We might jump back into Twitch at some point. Right now, I'm not so sure, but I'll let you guys know. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I love you, I'll leave you. Until the next unboxing, I hope you enjoyed the PlayStation 5 one, the pro that is, and well, peace.